Hi there, and welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, just a reminder that you can visit an old website to get more information. Here you have if you want some extra information. Uh, here you have the contact email. You can also contact us at Wolf Dynamics in the video description. You have some information. And if you're interested in testing an OVA, just a reminder that uh, you can get an academic license. Okay, if you are in the academia, you can get academic license, or if you want to 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 give it a shot. Uh, as a commercial user, we can generate a demonstration license. So basically, to generate those uh, demonstrations or academic license, we just need some basic information. So if you're going to support installing licensing here, okay, you get a uh, description of what, what we want, okay, what we need to generate that license. You're also, you can download from here the latest version, okay, you have everything. Uh, so let's continue with this tutorial. So let's go back to to, to the geometry here, the single geometry, and just to clarify something about volumes, okay? In the previous video, we generated the external mesh, and I showed you something about the volumes, but here, just to clarify what is the idea of this volume, but making the analogy with the snappy hex mesh, the volumes are basically this location in mesh where you want to do the mesh, or it can be the selection of the buffer synthetic mesh, okay? So let's see what we have, or what, what. Where are those volumes? So here I imported already the mesh, it created the volume automatically. I can erase that volume. You go here and you have flatten and erase that volume. So let's do some manipulation here. So let me create here an external domain just to show you here. You have this handle there that you can make it a larger or bigger just to give you an idea about where are those volumes, okay? What, why we need them? So if you have use, I send probably that is the best analogy, it's the same concept that you have in ISON, CFD. So go here, so this will be our external domain. And just to make sense, more entertaining, let me add another geometry here, and a sphere. Let me put it, whoops, I make a mistake. I didn't save the previous one. So let me move this one, this sphere, let me put it somewhere there, okay. I have an sphere there, and let me create now this one that I didn't save it previously. I didn't apply it. Okay, so let me move here. Let me do something like this. Okay, and let me click the handle there. Uh, here. Okay, so I have this at. Okay, so if you go into geometry, see that you have the three geometries there. Let me add. So on transparency here. So basically what I want to do here, this mesh. So just to show you what happens if, according or depending on how you create those volumes. So let me create a volume and let me save this one also. Just let me call it volumes. So let me create a volume for each of this entity. Create volume, create volume and create volume. So basically what it's going to do, I know it's going to create a, ma a match for each of these volumes inside of each of these volumes. Okay. It's not, it's, it is not going to detect the intersection. Okay. So it's not going, for instance, if you're going to, if you recall the previous case that we're doing the external and it was following the shape in this case, it's not going to follow that shape. Okay. So let's go here, bring these options and Put the C1, 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 and let me put here 16. Okay. And let's do everything here. No prison. I don't want prisons. And let's generate the mesh and let's see what happens. Okay. So basically, if I can here back to group list, you have three different volumes. Okay. And if I put a cut plane and let me put it there. Okay, this is what we have. Okay, let's go here. So see that it generates three independent meshes. Volume one, but this one is have nothing to see with the sphere. There, there is an sphere. Nothing to see with that sphere, okay? It's not related at all. Okay, so let me also. And then you have the elbow there also have nothing to see with that. There. So this is what is happening when we have different different volumes. So this might be helpful, for instance, you are doing overset meshes. You can put everything together and you can get an idea, you know, the relation, okay, the similarity between neighbor cells and so on. Okay, so let me go here. 
look at that I switch off okay and let me shift a little bit more display in there a little bit more okay there you go so mesh group list and then it's a switch off this one so you see that okay let me hide this one and see that you generated the volume inside the sphere inside the elbow and so on but they are not related at all so if i go to volume one see that they don't share any similarities no the external cells here they are not follow no this curve to the surfaces okay but as i say this can be used for overset meshes remember so meshes you put everything together and then they the end overset meshes that you need to have similar cell size between meshes so see here that this is really bad so you can adjust a little bit at some densities and so on okay but see that these are completely independent meshes so what if we want to create now also the mesh inside the volumes and following also the shape so that is what we're going to show you what i want to show you next so let me erase here and let's go back to geometry let's flat everything here erase all the volumes so basically what we need to do here just click here find volumes and automatically it's going to create the volume see that we have three volumes but see that it's a little bit different because in volume one we put everything here and then you create two extra volumes and you have the interface between all this stuff. So you can get an idea of what is going to happen. Now you are defining a hard interface and everything in a volume, okay? So this is constructed automatically here, but it can, do, uh, can be done manually. I recommend you to do it automatically. So these are you are having some common faces moving here. So it's better to do it automatically. And then you can start to remove, remove things that you don't need, okay? But in this case, okay will be similar to the previous one we're going to have cell inside each of the volumes but also we're going to resolve the interface okay so if we go here let me click here okay so it's doing everything you have the message there it's just saying, okay and let me put a cut plane there let me move a little bit here And put it there that are intersecting all the volumes so see that what is happening here now is this so see that now you are meshing inside like in the previous case but also you are resolving the interface between the different volumes okay so this will be for instance when you get heat transfer okay you have the you can have the zero sickness wall there or you can put the sickness there or it can be a region that you select there and then you can apply a source search to the all these cells because you have all these volumes defined okay so this is what happens with the volumes and now let's say that okay this is nice this is what i wanted but let's say that i don't want the 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 mesh inside this sphere so what we need to do is go in here we need to go back there and let's go that this is volume three okay here in geometry definition and erase this one so now by erasing this one you are erasing this sphere which is the interface between this and this and now you are not going to take into account that you are not going to mesh inside the domain okay so you are going to follow the sphere to adapt in the volume one but you are not going to mesh inside so as you go here the delete group and contents is gone and let's redo here and let's see the effect and if i put this here um, let me move it here okay we have this fear and there you go as expected see that you are resolving everything you are adapting the external mesh Okay, according to the growth rates and dimensions, local size, the sizing, and so on. But you don't mesh inside. Instead, here you get you you get that option, and you will mesh inside. So this is the logic between uh, b b behind volumes. Okay, so create everything automatically is done in, in volumes and it will find everything it will create the interfaces and then you can erase. Don't recommend you to do it manually because there are some so on the steps that you need to duplicate faces move here and and so on so 
this is a way for instance that if we go if we go back to a snappy like creating buffers and interior cells and the secret AMI and that stuff okay and now let's do the the next step which is let's say say that I don't want to generate the mesh inside the elbow so I just simply go here delete group and cells we remesh and put here and there is okay and see that there you didn't have anything inside okay so i hope you get a better idea where those volumes okay advice just do everything automatically and just let me repeat here so we started with let me flat this one you go geometry delete volume we started like this and if you click here it will do all this topology automatically okay so this is the way to do it and then in this case it's going to, to to generate the volume inside every single geometry that you have uh, because you are defining everything a single volume but also you are defining the interface there okay so let me flatten and if you do like this okay manually create group is going to mesh everything okay you click there create it will create automatically the interfaces and if you do like this like we do at the beginning you create individual volumes each one will be an individual volume it's not going to follow the shape of the other but this for instance as it says you're doing overset meshes this is the way that you can see in one single click all the meshes and see how the similarity between cells and so on okay it's not per se overset meshes, just be careful about that, but it's a guideline. We're going to work about <laughs> overset meshes and so on. So this is our analogy, how you get it clear with OpenFone. We're going to use this tool also to set up OpenFone, but you can put aside OpenFone and this will be exactly the same whatever solver you use. You have all the, the solvers, your formats, you have it here. Okay, and later we're going to move to do things in OpenFone and see that you have this tab here, set up OpenFone. Here's where you can set up the whole case, okay? So you create here all the surfaces and everything, and then here you can set up numerics, boundary conditions, and so on. Okay, so this later on, we're going to work on that. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for your attention. See you next time, bye.